Good Morning Victory Christian Center. So good to see you. Um, um, we'll get started here in a moment, but I, if you remember last week, I talked about my coffee and I, I drink my coffee, um, more cream with my coffee, give me the peppermint mocha. And so it led me to to, to, to ask our, our leadership team, our, our local leadership team at, at the campus, hey, how do you drink your coffee in the morning? And, uh, or, or, and whatever you drink, how, what do you drink in the morning? And uh, no joke, 90% of, of our entire leadership team drinks some type of caramel in their coffee. And, and here's the thing, I don't like caramel. And so I feel left out. I feel like, you know, uh, I, you know, someone's got to pray for me. Um, why, 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 you know, I'm not, car I feel like there's this cool group of people who like caramel and I'm not part of it. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, that's just something I've wrestled with this week, you know? And so, uh, I want to know though, I want to know what do you drink in the morning? Put it in the comments. Uh, what do you drink? Do you drink your coffee? I want specific, we want details, right? We want details. How do you drink your coffee or whatever you drink? What's your morning routine? All that. So put that in the comments below. I just have a couple of announcements. Um, uh, uh, first announcement, next steps class. I need everyone right now to say next steps class. I heard you. Great job. Um, our next steps class at Victory Christian Center, if you're unaware, is, is a class where, um, um, those who are newer to the church would come in and, and, uh, uh, you would learn the history of the church. You would, uh, learn the doctrine of the church. You would get to know Laura and I, um, and especially because of the situation we're in, because of, 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 you know, really the season we've been in since Laura and I have come, it's been tough to get to know you and for you to get to know us. So, um, if you are newer to the church, I encourage you, uh, to, to please come to this next steps class. Um, uh, and if you're wanting to be involved in the church, uh, whether you're newer or not. If you're not involved and you're wanting to be involved, this is a pathway to do that. Um, you get to know what the ministries are in the church, what they are and what they do and all of those things. Um, and so the, this class is going to be on Saturday. Everyone say Saturday, August 29th from 9 to noon, from 9 to noon, Saturday, August 29th. It's normally four hours, but we're whittling it down to three. Um, uh, uh, I will be there. Uh, most likely, Laura will be there, and uh, you'll just get to know us. We'll get to know you. We get to do, we'll, there'll be dialogue. Okay, and we'll have it'll be in the sanctuary. We'll have a bunch of tables set up. We'll have snacks. We'll have refreshments. Um, so 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 please please please, I encourage you. We're gonna put the the uh, uh, an electronic uh, sign up sheet here in the comments below. Um, uh, please, I encourage you. Even if you've been at the church for years. Again, you're, this, there's going to be dialogue here. We get to know you. You get to know us. I encourage you, if you've been here for years and you've never been part of this class, I encourage you to come. I encourage you to sign up to come because this is just a good, good way for us to get to know each other. And so uh, I want to encourage all of you out there uh, to, to, to think about that. So Saturday, August 29th from 9 to noon, we'll have a paper sign up next week when we're back at the church in the Welcome Center. Okay? Uh, and so... That's our first announcement. Uh, our second announcement is uh, our youth led by Cassie Palm, who's doing a fantastic job, by the way. Cassie Palm is hitting it out of the park. Um, she is, she is, she, she really is. Uh, uh, she is just, um, she loves the kids. She loves the kids. Uh, she wants to, uh, uh, not only for the kids to grow, she wants to grow. And so, um, uh, uh, and just as she wants to grow, I want to grow. No matter who you are out there, um, you should want to grow, okay? Grow in Christ, grow in different areas of your life. Um, and, and so when you have someone with a heart that she has uh, for Jesus and want to, kids to know Jesus like she has, and you combine that with a heart, with a, with a mindset to grow, um, nothing's impossible. And so I, I just, uh, I, I just, I'm so encouraged by Cassie. We love her. And so, um, uh, but anyway, getting off on a tangent there. Uh, next Sunday, August 9th in the evening, the youth are having a bonfire. Uh, in the evening, Sunday, August 9th, a bonfire at the church. There'll be games uh, and, and all of those all those cool things. Um, the details we'll put out on social media uh, as far as uh, specifically the time uh, uh, this week. And, I, and Cassie's been in contact with all the youth that have been coming. But if you have not been part of that and you want to come, we'll put the, the details out on social media this week. Um and so uh, we're going to go ahead and before actually we re I received the offering again, next Sunday, we are back. Praise the Lord. 
We are back. We are back. We are back uh, in person uh, Sunday, August 9th, 8.30 and 11. Um, I do want to say masks are required now. Uh, uh, the government has put that mandate down. And so unless you're a singer, unless you're singing, unless you're on the stage, unless you're speaking, uh, you were required to wear a mask. I know some of you may feel uncomfortable to come. Listen, I, I totally understand that. Uh, you, you know, I, you know, I, you need to do what's best for you and your family. I do want to say though, uh, maybe some of you have not come in the past because you, you knew that there would be people who are not wearing masks and you just felt safer at home. Makes total sense. Well, now everyone is required to wear masks. So maybe that would encourage some of you to say, knowing that everyone is going to be wearing masks. I just want to put that out there. So again, next Sunday, August 9th, 830, 11, we are back. We are ready to go. The Lord is going to move just as he's going to move today, just as he moved last week and, and as he moved the week before. So um, that's Sunday. Next Sunday, we are back 830 and 11. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and receive the offering and pray uh, pray for it. But uh, I want to say, again, we at Victory Christian Center, we have made this uh, a simplistic model of giving. You can give to to tithe, everyone say tithe, the tithe bucket, and then anything over and above the tithe, which again, tithe is, is our first 10% of our gross income. Or again, I said this last week, maybe you are at a, a, a a lesser percentage or a much lesser percentage, wherever you're at on the on the journey, that the first fruits go to the tithe bucket. Anything over and above the tithe, anything over and above the, the first 10% of our gross income goes into our, our only other bucket called Kingdom Builders. We have two. We don't have 10. We don't have this bucket and that bucket, this bucket, that bucket, this bucket. We have tithe and Kingdom Builders. The keywords are on the screen if you're going to text it, but the Kingdom Builders is what it, it, it is, what it says it is. It builds the kingdom. So this involves our local impact of what we do in the community. Kingdom Builders also involves the global projects, certain projects that are done on the mission field. It also involves our next generation, our youth. So, so Kingdom Builders is literally uh, money that goes into that bucket is building the kingdom. And so you can give to two buckets, Tithe and Kingdom Builders. Um, if you are going to text, I do want to say this. Uh, Victory Christian Center, Columbiana campus specifically, has its own text to give number. So if you've been at a river service or if you've been at another type of service, that would have had its own text to give number. And there are times uh, where, where that number doesn't change when you go somewhere else and give. So I want to encourage you that the number that you are texting to uh, verify that's the number of Columbiana that's on the screen um, uh, ending in, in 7034. So I want so you can text to give, you can give online if you go to vccolumbiana.com and then you can also mail it into uh, uh, Victory Christian Center, Columbiana 350 State Route 7, Columbiana, Ohio 4440. Eight. And so uh, let's pray. Father, I thank you for these wonderful people. I thank you, uh, Lord, that that there are people um, who who uh, maybe um, maybe maybe they they're not going to feel cheerful in their giving today. Lord, I ask I ask that you would just um, let them uh, compel them not to give. That it's okay because you you say that as we give, we should give with a cheerful heart. So I know you don't want, and I don't want. Uh, those who who don't are not able to give cheerfully, keep 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 their wallets, keep their money, um, Lord. And I pray that you would massage their heart, that 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 as weeks go by, as months go by, Lord, that you would transform um, the hearts, Lord God. And uh, I pray that uh, that the that the mission um, of of going and making disciples, Father, that the that the giving today, that our worship and giving would would advance that mission to go and make disciples, to go and, and, and bring those who are in the darkness to the light. Lord, I thank you. Um, I thank you for what you've done. We have, we are giving because of what you have already done. That's why we're giving. We trust you. We love you. We thank you in Jesus name. Amen. So with that being said, we're going to get to the message today and I'm not the speaker, man. I am so excited that you, uh, you better get ready church. Um, um, Travis Parker, our worship leader, um, is the speaker today, and I am thrilled. I am so excited. Um, uh, his family is phenomenal. Um, when you talk about his wife, Ashley, and you talk about their, their son and their daughter, their daughter, Aubrey, and their son, Elijah, um, um, you talk about 
I've mentioned a few times, you need to have people in your life that you can lock your shields of faith with. Um, this family, uh, this family is a family that we lock our shields of faith with. Uh, um, we love them. Uh, um, Travis is my, my best friend. And, uh, you know, it, 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 we, we are just, I'm just thrilled because, um, Travis, Travis, his words for 2020 are just Jesus, but those are, um, his words. Those are Ashley's words every year. Um, that's who they are. Just Jesus, just Jesus. And so you're going to get just Jesus. You're going to get, um, you're going to get a, a pure heart today. You're going to get uh, pure words um, and I, I, I'm just so thankful for them in our lives. I'm thankful that, that, that he has a word for you. Um, so I need you to be ready to receive today. Um, this is not gonna be the last time you hear about him or hear from him, uh, uh, Victory Columbiana. Um, but this is the first time. So I need you to, I need you to, uh, have your hands open, your heart open and get ready no matter where you are on your journey, no matter where you are on your discipleship in your walk with Christ, have your hands open, have your heart open. I know I will be. Um, so with, with everyone, uh, even if you're sitting at home with a big round of applause, welcome Travis Parker.